What's up everybody, Chris Wright here and I hope you are doing awesome. Today we are going to be talking about, what, what are you doing? Is it, I'm trying to record a video, is that all new golf gear? Yeah, all new. Is that a new driver? Yes it is. How much did this all cost? <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, just we'll talk about this later, just sit there, yep. chill out. I'm going to carry on with the video. As I was saying, today we are going to be uh, talking about... about uh, what have you booked? Uh, a golf holiday. When? When was this all gonna... Who, j just yeah. now, Johnny messaged like 20 seconds ago. Okay. Tr sit there, try not to buy anything else. I'm gonna finish this video. Okay. okay, so what we're talking about today is how you can find your ideal customers on Facebook. You know, the ones that spend all their freaking money on you, right? Just like Golf Me is doing right now. So, let's go. As you can see, Golf Me, totally, totally obsessed with golf right now. Like, spending a small fortune on it, it's actually ridiculous. Whether it's playing golf, getting lessons, practicing, new clubs, new clothes, holidays, like, it's actually ridiculous. I am every golf company's dream customer right now. Every single golf business wants me walking into their business, going onto their website, What like, being in front of their company right now. And then when I get in front of their company, do this, happily get out my credit card and pay for anything golf related. So the question is, how do they make that happen? And just a side note here, no golf companies are doing this right now. Like it's actually ridiculous. Like scrolling through my Facebook feed, my Instagram feed, no one is targeting me. It's crazy. And so what we're gonna do in this tutorial is show you exactly how you can get your ideal customers seeing your business, seeing your ads, how cool will that be? So let's head on over into the office right now and dive onto the computer. Okay, let's not actually dive onto it. That would be a freaking terrible idea. We'll, we'll go onto the computer. Let, let's go. So lounge is 10 yards back there. Office here in that space between. If you haven't noticed already, I managed to get a haircut and a beard trim. <laughs> also known as forgetting that you had a haircut appointment booked and then trying to record your videos. Question is, would you have noticed if I hadn't said anything? Anyway, let's crack on with today's tutorial. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump onto the computer, we're gonna go onto Facebook, and I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do to set up a saved audience of your ideal customers, your dream customers, the ones that are gonna spend all their money on you. How cool is that gonna be? And the reason we wanna do that is so that whenever you run an ad, whenever you like boost a post on Facebook or on Instagram, you want to make sure that your dream customers are the ones that are seeing that content, right? That's why we're gonna do this, so let's go and set that up now. Here we are in Ads Manager, and this is what it'll look like for you if you've never run an ad, never boosted a post, it'll look completely blank and bare. And I've set up a new ads account so that it looks like this, so you can see where we're, see where we're going and see exactly what we're doing. So, but before we even run an ad, as I said today, we're looking at how to set up targeted and specific audiences for you to target. So let me show you how we're gonna do this. So if you click up here into the menu, you'll see it says audiences, click audiences. If it doesn't say anything like audiences here, go to all tools and it'll be in here somewhere. Where is it? Uh, audiences underneath assets there. If you've never set up an audience before, it'll look like this, which is great because now all we need to do is pick which kind of audience we wanna to create. Today we are looking at saved audiences. So what I want you to do is click on create a saved audience. This is gonna bring up this pop-up. Now, this is where it, it takes, you know, it's a good idea to have your target audience, your dream customer already planned out, like you know who they are. Because getting here, we don't wanna spend time trying to figure that out. So I suggest you've already got it figured out, but you know, we can go through it here. So let's say we are a fitness company. We only wanna target women in the UK. Uh, you could even get as specific as this, right? You can even target women in the UK who've had a baby within the last 12 months. Right, like that that's how specific we can get. So let's let's make one for a fitness company. Let's imagine we're doing that, right? So uh, women had women baby last 12 months. Like you, you can come up with uh, the name of the audience, whatever you want to call them, right? So we want people who live uh, in the UK. That's kind of it's already set up for me, but you if you wanted to change that, you'd literally just go in here. Let's say we wanted to target the United States. If I could spell, that'd be great. There we go, and you can literally target them as well, right? But let's just say we're just targeting the UK because that's the only place we ship to, right? Maybe that's what we're doing, right? So we're targeting people who live in the UK. You can also target people who, are, who have recently been in this location, people traveling, so people who are visiting the area. So perhaps you want to pick up, you know, perhaps your target market is tourists in a certain location, 
or just anyone and everyone who's in that location. But look, we were going for anyone who lives in the UK and we know, let's say you know that the people that are mo most likely to buy your products are 25 to, let's say, I don't know, 40. Right, we're targeting women and yes, look, let's say you are this fitness company, right? And let's say you've got a supplement that actually men and women of all ages could use and it would be beneficial to them. What I'm going to tell you now is do not, do not try and market to men and women of different ages with the same ad. Yes, you can sell them the same product, but don't try and market to them with the same ad. The way, the way a woman, a 36 year old woman who's just had a baby thinks is totally different to the way a 22 year old guy thinks, right? And their emotional reasons for buying are going to be totally, totally different. So don't try and market to them in the same way. Like, I cannot stress that point enough. Make sure that you've got different audiences. Um, for, and you know who your dream customers are. You know who your product is really for. That's who we're really targeting at the moment. So let's go 25 to 40 year old women. And we're going to go, look, we can go specific as they've just had a baby within the last 12 months. Look, so uh, demographics. So click on browse, click on the, and there's so much stuff that you can target people on here. So look, you can go, I'll just do R1 first. So where is it? Parents, all parents, new parents, to 12 months. Look, and look how specific you can get. You can target people with kids who are like 13 to 18. Like, you can just get so specific with this. So, new parents, 0 to 12 months. Right, even if we just leave it there, right? So, we're targeting women who are 25 to 40 who live in the UK. That's not the UK. Who live in the UK uh, and who've had a baby within the last um, 12 months. 250,000 people in the UK who we're targeting right there. Great. Let's go. Like, and we could stop there, hit create audience and that would create our audience, right? So, done, we've got it. So 250,000 women who are aged 25 to 40 who've had a baby within the last 12 months. That's like that's how specific you can get. Okay, so right there is the basics to setting up your first saved audience. And you could stop the video right here and you'd be able to do that. However, in the rest of this video, I've included a load more examples. I'm gonna take it up a level. So I'm gonna show you how to take this example a little bit further. I'm gonna show you what to do if you're a local business, you wanna only target a specific area. I'm gonna show you the golf example. I was talking about golf earlier, right? I'm gonna show you a jewelry example. Basically, I'm gonna show you a whole load of different examples so that you can hopefully get a load more ideas about how you can get really specific with your audiences and get the most out of them. Uh, and look, let me just show you some of the different things that you can go through here because I want to. I want you to really understand the power of this. So we just created one audience. Let's go and have a look at just creating another one. Let's just look at some of the things that you can target people on because this is fantastic. So, uh, and put it this way. Okay, I've got another idea for you. Let's say you were a jewelry company, right? And you know that some of your biggest buyers are uh, men buying gifts for their wives around anniversaries, birthdays, etc. Right? So look, look what you could do. Let's say, and you let's say you're a high-end jewelry company, and you generally want people who've got a generally quite a high income. So we're going to go, uh, I don't know. 30 and a 30 to 50. I don't know, right? Let's go men. So let's go browse. Let's go demographics. Uh, let's go life events. Anniversary. Anniversary within the next 30 days for sure. Anniversary within the next 60 days. Look, we've got now got 200,000 men in the UK who have an anniversary coming up within the next 60 days. And if you're a jewelry company, and you suddenly like men start seeing your who men who have got an anniversary coming up in the next 60 days start seeing an ad or start seeing your stuff around hey make sure you get the perfect anniversary present for your wife this year like a nice bracelet or a nice ring or like earrings or whatever right like how much value does that add to them they've just you've just saved them like they a they've probably forgotten they got an anniversary right like let's be honest and you've just saved them you know you've saved them so much hassle you've saved them so much time in searching for a gift like it's just appeared in front of them while they're scrolling through Facebook. That's how specific you can get. Now, uh, we can take this to the next level so you can make sure that you go, okay, but I want, yes, I want people who've got an anniversary coming up to see to see my product. But let's say you're a very high-end jewelry company, right? Let's narrow this audience. So they have to have an anniversary coming up in the next 60 days and, and they have to have a high net worth Right, so high, high affluence, uh, very high affluence. We can get a bit more specific with this. Yeah, you could say financial income, and you might say, right, I know that people under who earn under 40 grand won't buy my, generally won't buy our jewelry, right? So you can just go, right, I want anyone who's earning above 40 grand to see this. So look, now we're down to 78,000 people. And while, yes, that's narrowing your audience, 
these 78,000 people are like that's way they're way more likely to buy your product than the other I can't remember what it was before but however many thousands of people we've cut out there by adding in that high high affluence factor there does that make sense so these people are going to be like that's going to increase your conversion rate because these people are the people that are most likely to buy your product with me like how cool is this this is how specific you can get um, with your ads like what else can we start like what else can we target on here so let's just let's just have a look so let's just have a look so you can target on education level right did they go to university you know did they finish school look at all this stuff like it's crazy um, what else can we do financial we've just done so income and net worth the home you can go hey, okay have they got are they are they living with the family are they living with flatmates um, are they away from family are they away from their hometown when's their date of birth like you can target people by their birthday. Hey, birthday's coming up. Why not come and celebrate here at our restaurant? Uh, are they in a long distance relationship? Have they got a new job? Are they newly engaged? Like if you're a wedding planner or you're doing anything for weddings, getting in there and targeting people who are newly engaged. Ridic like this is crazy, right? Have you recently moved? Probably going to need new furniture. If you're a furniture company, you could be targeting them. Uh, parents we've looked at. Uh, relationship status work like you can target by uh, industry that they're in their employer their job titles uh, you can like you can just get so specific with this it's it's crazy interests so you might want to if we're oh, I probably should have said with the fitness company on the last one we were doing that I should have said hey maybe they've already got an interest in fitness and wellness right so in fact let's go back to that audience that we started here uh, we can edit this audience. So we got 250,000 uh, women who have just had a baby, 25 to 40. Now we add in the, we narrow that audience by an interest in fitness and wellness. All right, takes us down to 190,000. Again, we've narrowed that audience, but we've now brought it down to a much more, uh, an audience that's much more likely to buy your product in this situation, right? Like this is, I absolutely love how specific we can get with this. But what about Golf Me? I introduced you to him a couple of minutes ago, not being targeted by any golf companies on Facebook or Instagram. Actually, that's a lie, there's one, but I'm gonna tell you about that later. Not a good one. What I wanna do is show you how golf companies could be targeting me and other golf fanatics at using audiences on Facebook. And cause this is a really nice way to show you how to use interest as a way of building your audience as well. So let's dive in, let's go and have a look at this now. So again, create audience, saved audience. And let's call this audience our golf audience. And we're going to go for people who, we're going to go for people who live in the UK, right? Just use that for now, right? We're in, we're, let's say we're selling clubs, clothes, etc. online. So uh, generally we know that it's uh, the under, let's say 24s, don't tend to spend too much money on us. We tend to be the 24 to 40 year olds, tends to be our, our best demographic. So that's who we're going to go target. We're going to target men, perhaps it's a men's specific club or men's specific clothing or something like that. Either way, you want to make sure that you're reaching your specific audience. So men 24 to 40, right now we're at 9.1 million people on Facebook, bit broad. We don't have any golf interest yet. So detailed targeting. So you click on in here and I can you can just start typing in golf and it will probably give you some uh, they go golf interests, right? So click on golf, that immediately narrows it down. That's 1.3 million people in the UK, 24 to 40 have an interest in golf. And then you can you can start typing in other things, but you can also just hit suggestions, right? And it starts giving you suggestions, right? Do they have an interest in a golf club, a golf course? Yes. Do they have interest in golf equipment? Yes. Um, and that this is, do they have interest in golf magazines, the golf channel, the PG, like PGA Tour? Yes. Like you can just make sure that you are getting all these different interests in uh, that are related to the thing. So for here, it's related to golf, right? So the Masters tournament and and. And actually, this is where you can get really specific if you wanted to, to do a promotional offer around a particular event. So this year, the Ryder Cup is on. That's USA versus Europe in golf, right? So you might say, oh, I've got, I want to target all the European fans of the Ryder Cup because I want to sell them the, the blue product. And I want to target all the US uh, Ryder Cup fans because I want to give them the, the, the red product, whatever it is, right? So that's, again, that's key for your, for your marketing, right? You can then even say, right, do it around... Uh, specific players, Tiger Woods for example, Rory McIlroy, uh, Ricky Fowler, like you can get really really specific with this and you can see anyone at the moment, I've just in the way that I've set it up here, it's just anyone who likes any of these things, right? But what you might do is say anyone who likes golf and then narrow the audience, fans of Rory McIlroy as an example, right? Or fans of the Ryder Cup. So you could narrow it but even here look we've got, so now with all those interests and likes 
we've got down to 1.4 million people, one, sorry, 1.4 million men, 24 to 40 in the UK, who have an interest in golf. This is where you can start uh, really targeting people who you know, have an interest in your sport. Does that make sense? Now, if you wanted to narrow this even further, what you can do is go, right, I want people who have an interest in golf, but I also want people who are willing to buy, right? Really to get out their credit cards. So what we can do is go narrow the audience, and that you can go here, you can go purchase pay over UK, you can go people who have an above average level of spend on recreation and leisure. How it knows that, I have no idea, but let's have a look what that does. And it takes it down to 260,000 people. So that's like cut out like a million people right there. If you want to start selling your golf equipment, probably be targeting them to start off with, right? So, but what if you're a local business? What if you're, you know, you've got a local store, a local facility, whatever it is, something where, you know, you only want to target people within a certain radius of your physical location. So if we just go, let's just quickly do this. Saved audience again. Uh, let's just put local biz. And again, maybe you only want to target, who are we going to target this time? Maybe you just want to target men who are in their 30s, right? So 30 to 39 men. And we don't want to target the whole of the UK. You just want to target a certain location. So let's say uh, you've got a business in Guildford, my hometown. And you only want to type, so this could, when you type in the city, the town, it only gives you a certain radius option. I'm going to show you how to get around that in a minute. But look, already, like, you only want to target men who are in their 30s, who live within 17 kilometers of Guildford, 21,000 people. Great, there's, if that's your audience, great, perfect. But what if you want to go even more specific than that, right? So what you want to do is, if you don't want to reach out to 17 kilometers because people don't travel that far to you, let's get rid of that. And you can use the postcode of your store to do this. You just literally just type it in here. But I just, you know, the other option is drop the pin. Let's say your store is here and you get, and you go, right, we are, I see now we can go all the way down to one, but let's say we want people who are within eight kilometers of this location. Right, so now you can see, right, eight kilometers of this location where I drop the pin, 13,000 13, men in their 30s. Great, perfect. We've Again, can you see how powerful this is? We're getting really specific with the marketing. You can go really localized as well if you're a local business, which is great. And just as a side note here, if you're running ads with no targeting, you are literally pouring money down the drain. Because there are so many, you're spending money showing your ads to people who are never going to buy your product, who are never going to be interested in your service. And that is literally wasting money. If you get really specific with your target audience, those are gonna be the active buyers. Those are gonna be the ones that are gonna buy your product, your service. You need to be targeting them. You need to get your ads in front of them. Give you an example of this. I was scrolling through my Facebook feed uh, this morning and there was an ad for, uh, I think it was like a, a, a person teaching golf coaches how to get more clients. And like, I love golf, but I'm not a golf coach. Like that guy's literally pouring his money down the drain targeting me. It drives me crazy because I'm like, they're literally like, why, why am I being targeted for that? Like, I'm never going to buy a product about how to get more golf clients because I'm not a golf coach. You need to make sure that you get your audiences right. You need to go on there and make sure that you get these audiences targeted. Get your dream customers in front of your business. You know the people who buy your products, right? If you don't, go and find out and then create these audiences. But once you get these people, your dream customers, seeing your content, seeing your ads, seeing your products, seeing your services, you know those are the ones that are going to buy that's going to dramatically improve your marketing like just like overnight could improve your marketing go set up these audiences go get it done so when we get to building the ads it's going to make life so much easier and it's going to make marketing so much more fun that's all from me today guys i hope you've enjoyed the video i hope you've liked it hopefully you've got your audiences set up i'm hoping that you can see how excited i get about this i'm just it gets me excited about because I know how much this is going to help your marketing and help your business. So go get those audiences set up. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you leave me a comment below answering the question. Uh, make sure you share it too. And by the way, make sure you subscribe to the channel and never miss an episode. But that is all from me for this week, guys. I'll see you later.